the story in the video is about the witcher that is chasing and in the same time being chased by a monster that you don't see in the video because he was sneaky. So we came up with the idea to record the Geralt of Rivia theme pretty spontaneously, which usually doesn't happen with me. Um, but we were watching the series at the moment and I had this wild badass intro music stuck in my head for days. So I was like, yeah, let's do a hurdy-gurdy focused version. Because the decision to film this video came up so spontaneously, we didn't really have any ideas for scenario or costumes or nothing actually. <laughs> Fortunately enough, my brother is into LARPs, uh, so he has a ton of cool uh, outfits, clothes and accessories such as the chainmail and the bracers that you can see in the video. The only problem that remained was a sword. <laughs> we had like one day to organize a sword. It took as as the whole day and we almost gave up because we couldn't find it anywhere and we had no idea where to even look for it but then uh, in the evening we remembered that one of our friends is working in a mini forge at the main square in Krakow we just rolled up there and we're like hello yes one sword please <laughs> To film this video we went to castle ruins in Ogrodzeniec because there is no more epic place around. And later on when we were editing the video uh, I learned that this location was actually used in the series. When I discovered it I was so surprised because how cool is that? When we arrived there it was cold and snowing but I had a lot of running to do that day uh, and it kept me warm uh, as you can imagine with the chain mail and the sword because the idea to this video came so spontaneously we didn't really have a plan for filming and the ideas were coming up along the way. The main challenge that we faced regarding this cover was the arrangement because um, in the original track there is a lot of traditional instruments recorded mm, and we relied on more symphonic plugins such as violas and different brass instruments uh, so in the end I think our version turned out more balanced and almost a little bit dreamy. When I'm choosing the songs to cover I choose the ones that I feel would translate well to the hurdy-gurdy but in this case there was also a sentimental kind of thing going on. Um, I remember reading the Witcher saga about 10 years ago. These were one of my favorite books that I've ever read um, especially because they were so ruthlessly funny in some places and really deep and profound in others. In the end I want to bring more hurdy-gurdy out into the world and give the girly lovers music where this instrument is a main focus. I feel like playing the songs that people already love is a really cool way to do it.